DJ Bear. Thanks for joining us this week. Let's see what's happening around Jaber. Come out to the Ski and Trap Range on October 29th at 10 a.m. The Halloween Spook Fest is happening. It's a 200 shot event and you must be registered by the National Ski Shooting Association, but you can register on site. If you're looking for a scary good time, head over to Almondor Fitness Center on Friday, October 27th for the Costume Fun Run. Registration begins at 3 o'clock and races at 3.30 for free. Afterwards, head over to the Arctic Oasis for Trunk or Treat from 4 to 7. One dollar per person for candy, fall fair games, Trunk or Treat, and the photo booth. Head over to the Warrior Zone on October 28th at 2 p.m. for the free pool tournament. Tournament must have eight players to play for prizes and participants must be 18 years or older. And now, come along with us as we learn with Lenore about FCC. Hey guys, welcome back to Learning with Lenore. Today we're learning about family child care centers. We're at one of our homes here. We have a little thing in the window. Come inside and let's learn more about FCC. What do you need to do to become an FCC provider? Um, you have to go through uh, FCC training, which um, talks about how to become a provider, what steps you need, um, CPR training, just learning about uh, the military um, procedures and policies about becoming an FCC provider. Why do you like being a provider? I like being an FCC provider because I'm able to stay at home with my son and work from home and also uh, do uh, what I like to do is to work with children. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> do you get to make your own schedule? Yes. Uh, my schedule is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., which helps uh, most military families. So I'm able to get up early and work late to accommodate the family's needs. I know the meals have to be USDA approved. What is a typical lunch time for you guys? A typical lunch is uh, we have whole grain um, breads, uh, rice, um, we have a fruit, vegetable to go with it, um, meats. So we have to have at least one item from each fruit group. Now let's head over to building 5091 to learn why you should choose a FCC provider. Well it gives them a flexibility of schedule because the pro provider can um, change their schedule around to help them if they have to work later hours than what a facility would be open. Um, they can be open on weekends, nights, and offer 24-hour care also. They can break it down into part-time care, full-time care, hourly care to help parents out. And they also, they have to meet the FCC standards. And so they're upholding what Air Force requires for them. And that's, we check that every month on an, on an unannounced inspection to make sure they're standing up for those. If you think you have what it takes to be an SCC provider, make sure to contact them. Thanks for joining us. From Audra, Sam, and Lenore, have a great Jaber Life Day.